Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be trying some products from a brand that's fairly new to me. It is Beauty Counter. I had previously only tried, I think, their Night Like Retinol product and their Morning Vitamin C product, and that's it. And someone that I graduated high school with reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try some Beauty Counter makeup products. And of course, I was super excited to try that. So she sent me some Skin Dew products, some foundation, some cream blushes, mascara, lip products, eyeshadows, and then some skincare as well. So today I think I'm gonna try one of the um, face-based products, one of the blushes, and then I'm gonna try skincare for the rest of the week and see what my skin thinks of that. And then on a separate day, we will try the other foundation. So if you guys would like to see what is included in this beauty counter line, then just keep watching. I know that the friend of mine that is selling these, she went through some health things and she's more cautious about what she puts on her skin and in her body, which I think is amazing. So Beauty Counter is more of like a natural brand, which I think is really nice that they've expanded from skincare into makeup because more and more people are looking for more natural based cosmetics products that don't have as many chemicals and things that are linked to negative things, negative illnesses, things like that. So the first thing I really want to try is this Dew Skin Tinted Moisturizer. It has a broad spectrum of SPF of 20. And she sent me medium and light. So maybe I can use medium as a bronzer and light as my foundation. And on here it just says adults and children over six months. So I guess if you want to apply this foundation -y type product to a six month old, you could. Um, I guess they're mainly meaning it as a sunscreen. It says apply as needed daily, alone or on top of moisturizer. Apply liberally every 15 minutes before sun exposure. Oh, apply liberally and every 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply at least every two hours. So it doesn't really say how to apply like fingers, sponge, brush, but I'm gonna show you what the two shades look like. Okay, so we have light here and medium here. And neither of them really are like a great shade for me personally, but since it's a skin tint, I'm hoping that the light one will blend out. It does feel pretty thick. So here are the two shades for reference. All right, so I will try to apply one half of my face with my fingers, and then maybe I'll try like a flat top brush with the other half. And I don't know how much I'm gonna need, so I'm just starting off with like half of a pump. Really, it's giving me absolutely no coverage at all. You can see everything and it's very yellow. I don't think this is gonna work for me. Yeah, this is definitely too yellow. I probably would need the fair shade, which I do not have. She was kind enough to send me multiple shades of multiple different products, but I do not have the fair shade. So I'm gonna actually remove this because this doesn't match. Well, we tried the skin dues, they did not work for me. So next let's move on to the foundation. This is the Skin Twin Featherweight Foundation. Um, it says featherweight breathable foundation infused with skincare level hyaluronic acid to help reveal a smooth hydrated even complexion with color true hydrophobic pigments. You'll achieve long wearing buildable coverage with a seamless second skin finish. Okay, and she sent me a few shades. She sent me two lights and two mediums. I'm definitely not a medium, so let's try the two light shades. Oh, the bottle is pretty. 210 and 230. I feel like all of these shades have very like peach undertones to them. I don't know, guys. Okay, of the two, I think I'm gonna have to go with the lighter one, but none of them really have neutral undertones. They're either like yellow or peach. So we had 210 and 230. Nope, doesn't say how to apply it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply half with a brush because that's usually how I apply thicker foundations like this. So I'm going in with shade light 210. Okay, 
So here is one layer of this foundation. It definitely gives me more coverage than that Skin Dew did. So this is the tw Skin Twin. I like the packaging. I like that I still have a little bit of glow on my face. It's not completely matte. I like that it doesn't seem to have any scent to it, like no noticeable scent. So let's go in with a second layer. I think this is a much better shade match than the other two like Skin Dew products. And with two layers of this product, it's looking a little bit heavy, but it is covering like my acne scarring back here, a little bit of my sunspot here. So you can kind of see before I have a lot of redness, acne marks, and over here it's just a bit evened out, but it is looking thick. All right, so now let's try the other side with a dampened beauty blender. I like the way that applied with this beauty blender, like the added level, the added layer of hydration from the damp sponge seemed to help it like melt to the skin really well. But let's try a second layer like we did on the first side. Okay, so this side's looking really pretty. You can kind of see it's still a little bit glowy. This side has a bit less glow, probably because it was applied a bit more heavily with the brush. So I would say of the two sides, I definitely prefer applying it with a damp beauty sponge. Let me just even out the other side with the sponge here, get rid of any brush marks any thick patches. Now, as you can see, it doesn't completely cover things. Like I have an active acne spot here. You can see my birthmarks. You can see my circles, my sunspot. It definitely just helps to like even everything out and it looks very natural. You can kind of see the glow on my forehead. Like I still have that like skin look to my skin. It's not mattified. So I like that so far but I don't have any brow product or concealers. So why don't I hop off, do that, and we'll be back to try some cream blush and some lip products. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, I applied some concealer under my eyes, but I noticed that it's kind of clinging to dry patches. I recently was on some antibiotics that made my skin break out in this like dry red rash. And so I still have some really dry patches here left over from that antibiotic. And you can kind of see it's really clinging on to dry spots on my face, like right here and right here, which is where I got like the worst of the dry patches. So if you have like dry or like flaky skin, this is going to emphasize it. But like my forehead and my nose area, like the center of my face looks really smooth. It's just the areas where I still have some dry skin that it's not looking great. But I still have to do the brows, so I'll be back. Okay, next let's move on to cream blushes. They have a bunch of these cheeky clean cream blushes. The packaging looks like this and it doesn't really say anything else on it. And she was kind enough to send me five different shades. So let's swatch them and see which one we want to use today. This first one is Havana. It's like a nice basic pink shade. Next up we have Chai, which looks like a nice more like neutrally shade blush that's pretty all right this one says it's without excuses on the back but it's in the lychee box i'm not sure what shade this one is but i will swatch it for you anyway that's really pretty oh no it does say lychee on the back so that one was lychee I'm just confused because there is tape on the back that says other things, but then written is in uh, marker is the shades. So this one is Paloma. Ooh, a really pretty like tangerine shade. They feel very thick, so they're not like a thin, runny consistency. Pretty. And then finally, we have a Cider, which looks like another peachy one, but perhaps a bit lighter. And here is a Cider. Ooh. See, normally these are the two that I would go for. So how about we try those today? So we'll try chai and cider. And again, there's no instructions on here. It just gives you the ingredient list. So it doesn't say like apply with finger, apply with a brush. 
I'm going to tap it on with my fingers, which are clean, and then I will blend it in with a sponge. So I feel like that's going to be the best way to keep these clean. Okay, so this one is chai. Actually, I may not need a sponge at all. I'm going to dip in with my pinky. That's a really nice natural shade. I really like that. I want to build it up some more, so I'm going to clean off my fingers with a makeup wipe and then go in for more. That's a really gorgeous color, guys. That is really pretty. All right, so that one's chai. I think I love that one. Next, let's go into cider, which was the lighter peach shade on this side. Different hand. Different finger. Different finger. Normally I would go for this shade, like my absolute favorite blush is this one from Neutrogena. So this is my all time favorite blush. You can kind of see the shade is very similar. So that's what I normally would go for. But I think of the two, I prefer this one. It's just a little bit more like tan undertone, not quite so straight peach. This one has a little pink to it. It's like a pinky peach. This one's more of like a tan peach and I think it's so pretty. So, so far of all the products I've tried, this is the one I would recommend the most. Of course, I haven't tried them all yet, but just as of right now, that's the one that I am loving the most so far. So next we have some lip products. These are, these are the Beyond Glass glosses, I guess. And there's three different shades. There's like Cinnamon Shimmer. There is a ginger shimmer and this one, which is magnolia shimmer. So I have like a mauve, a peach and like a browns. I think I will go with the mauvey shade and she was kind enough to give me little disposable things to try them with. It does have a like doe foot applicator. I'm just going to take it off of there. All right, ready? I want to say it has like a slight vanilla scent to it. That shade is very flattering. It's kind of like a your lips but better. And even though it says shimmer, it doesn't have like chunks of glitter in it. It's more of just like a healthy sheen. And I'm not normally a gloss person, but this feels really comfortable on the lips, really flattering. Hmm. All right, I also really like this one. And then she sent me some products that I'll be honest, I thought were nail polishes at first. They look like this and I'm thinking, oh, okay, they make some nail polishes. But then after further inspection, it says lid glaze cream shadow. So she sent me twinkle, which is like a shimmery, like cool brown. She sent me sepia, which is a warm golden brown. She sent me haze, which is like a mauvey shade and then luster which is like a champagne shade now i did already swatch these on the back of my hand when i first got it and these aren't super shimmery so if you like a really shimmery shadow this is probably not for you it's more of like a satin matte finish but let me swatch them for you here is sepia it's like that warm brown shade so that's what it looks like and then blend it out it can definitely become more sheer. So applied heavily and then sheared out. Next up we have Twinkle, which is the cool brown. They sheer out very easily. So if you only want like the slightest wash of color, you could easily achieve that with these. Next up, we have Luster, that pretty champagne shade, which I think would be gorgeous on the inner corner. And this one kind of sheared out itself. I didn't really have to do anything. And then finally, we have Haze, which is that pretty mauve shade.
Bobby. Do you guys hear my cat crying in the background? She wants to come in and film with me. So here we have the four shadows. You can see they're not super metallic. They're, I don't know, kind of lackluster in my opinion. I'm used to shades. I'm used to shadows that have like a punch. These are definitely more on the natural side. They all have, I would say they're all like a satin matte. They're not even shimmery really. You're gonna get like a slight reflect off of them if the sun is hitting them, but not much. They're very weak in the shimmer and reflectiveness department. But if you like a natural like wash of color on the lids, you would probably like this. But for someone like me that loves to play with glitters and shimmers and color and variety, this is just a little bit too bland for my personal makeup preference. But they do set down and they don't budge. I did try them a couple days ago on my hand. They did not move and they don't easily wash off. So once they're on, they're on, which is nice. So they are long wear and the color stays put, which I appreciate. But like I said, they're just not enough impact for me personally. And the final makeup product that we have in here is a mascara. And she did send me some disposable mascara wands, which is awesome. The name of this one is Think Big All-in-One Mascara. And it's in the shade Better Black. The tube is fun. I mean, it's kind of cool, but the downside of this is if you place it down on your table, it will roll right off. So for that reason, I don't like fully round packaging, but let's check it out. Okay, so the um, disposable wand looks to be the same wand that she gave me, which is nice. So I'm gonna set this one aside and I'm gonna dip in the disposable one, coat it really well and see what we think of this mascara and I will zoom you in. So I have nothing on the lids right now. All right, so this is fully coated, so let's uh, give it a try. At first swipe, that is pretty good. Wow, that's a good mascara. Okay guys, this is one dip and two coats on top and bottom. And this is very impressive. So we have before and after. This is a good one. Okay guys, I only dipped in to this mascara once and I am really impressed with this mascara. The wand is great. The formula is really nice. I did get a lot of smudging on this eyelid, but it can easily be cleaned off with like a Q-tip later. This is really impressive. Okay, so of the makeup products I've tried, I would say personally pass on the Dew Skin. The shades were just not right for me. I do really like this Skin Twin Featherweight Foundation. Again, I'm wearing shade Light 210. I wish it had instructions on how to apply, like do you apply with your fingers, with a brush, with a sponge? That would be helpful. I really like the cream blush, especially Chai. This is a beautiful shade. If you have a skin, similar skin tone to me, you might really love this. This is gorgeous. Um, the cream shadows, I would probably say pass on. They're just not my personal preference, but this mascara is really impressing me. If it stays like this, like my lashes are separated, they are defined, they are lengthened, like they look good. So if it stays like this all day, I will be highly impressed. So I would say we found three winners from the Beauty Counter makeup line. Like I mentioned earlier, I still want to try out their skincare and I will pop in a video at the end once I've had a chance to try it for like a week or so and let you guys know if there are any winners from that line as well. But so far, we definitely had a few wins from the makeup. So I was really excited with the outcome. We found some wins, some that are not wins for me, but they're not bad products. They're just not for me personally. Hey guys, so I'm outside in natural lighting. You can kind of see what the makeup looks like out here. The blush has faded a bit. It's a little breezy. <laughs> um, and I didn't set it and touching my face, it still is a little bit sticky. So you probably should set this foundation and the blush. And the mascara still looks great, but it is smudging a little to the under eyes. So definitely set under the eyes if you don't want it to smudge underneath. But it looks really pretty and it's been about four hours. So I'm still liking the blush and the mascara. I just definitely would need to set it moving forward. So that is the halfway point update for you a few hours in. So I hope you guys enjoyed trying out these new Beauty Counter cosmetic products with me. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video.
but don't forget to stay tuned for the skincare update. Bye guys. Okay guys, so I've been trying the skincare for about four or five nights and overall, like I'm not that blown away by the skincare. I did enjoy the scent of the Countermatch Refresh Foaming Cleanser. However, I didn't find it to be foaming at all. It was just like a cream cleanser. I don't know. And I've read reviews about this and other people said it wasn't foaming for them either. So it smells like almonds to me. So it smells really nice. But other than that, I don't think there's anything that spectacular about any of these products in particular. I tried the Adaptive Moisture Lotion. I tried the toner, which is not like a liquid. It's more like a gel. So it's a little bit thicker of a toner. I tried the eye rescue cream, which was nice, but you have to use skincare for like four weeks to really see a difference. So it was fine. Um, I did like the countermatch recovery sleeping cream and in particular the dispenser. You press this button in and it dispenses the amount that you need. So you're not dipping in. You don't have to squeeze something out. It's like squeeze, scoop and go. So I thought this was really interesting packaging and the product was pretty nice. Um, yeah, so when all is said and done, I definitely prefer the makeup. I really liked the foundation. I really liked the um, cream blushes. I liked the lip glosses and I liked the mascara. I did actually end up going out and buying the chai blush and the mascara because I really, really, really liked those. I probably would get the lip gloss next time there's a sale. Um, I really loved this shade here, the mauve one. Magnolia Shimmer. So those were definitely the standouts for me. As I mentioned, some of the products I didn't really feel were worth it. So I'm gonna say if you are a makeup lover like me, stick with the makeup products and possibly this sleeping recovery cream. I did enjoy this. So those are my final thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.